Hi, welcome to AlgebraClass.com. This lesson is on graphing standard form equations using the x and y intercepts. In the last lesson, you learned how to graph a standard form equation using slope intercept form, or by rewriting it in slope intercept form. This time, we're going to graph a standard form equation using what's called x and y intercepts. Before we get into how to graph using x and y intercepts, we need to understand what they are. So first, we're going to take a look at this graph, which has four y-intercepts graphed on it. They're called y-intercepts because the points are on the y-axis. So notice how all four points are right on the axis. This point is 0, 7, 0, 2, 0, negative 2, and 0, negative 6. Do you see the pattern that's happening with all of these points that are on the y-axis? They all have an x-coordinate of 0 because in order to be graphed on the axis, x must be 0. So in order to find the y-intercept, we're going to let x equals 0. Now let's take a look at a series of x-intercepts graphed. We have negative 8, 0, negative 2, 0, 4, 0, and 8, 0. These are all considered x-intercepts because they're graphed on the x-axis. Also notice that the y-coordinate for all of these points is 0. Because in order for a point to be on the x-axis, the y-coordinate must be 0. So to find the x-intercept, we're going to let y equal 0. What we're going to do is take example number 1 from the website, 2x plus 4y equals 8, and we're going to find the x and y-intercept in order to graph two points on a grid that we can then use to draw a line through to create the graph for this equation. The first thing we're going to do is find the x-intercept. To find the x-intercept, remember from our graph, we're going to let y equal 0 because that's what must happen for the point to be on the x-axis. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the original equation, 2x plus 4y equals 0, or I'm sorry, equals 8, and what we're going to do is let y equal 0. So when we do that, we have 2x plus 4 times 0 equals 8. So all I've done is substitute 0 for y. 4 times 0 is 0, so this term is eliminated. We're left with 2x equals 8. I know that if I divide both sides by 2, I can solve for x, and x equals 8 divided by 2, which is 4. Therefore, the x-intercept is 4, which can be written as the point 4, 0, because we let y equal 0 in order for that point to be on the x-axis. That's one point on the grid. Now I'm going to find the y-intercept by doing the same exact thing, except this time I'm going to let x equal 0, because I'm finding the y-intercept. So I'm going to replace x with 0 and bring down the rest of the equation. I know that 2 times 0 is 0. That's eliminated. Therefore, I'm left with 4y equals 8. If I divide by 4 on both sides, I can solve for y, and y is equal to 8 divided by 4, which is 2. So I know that the y-intercept is 0, 2. That's the point on the y-axis. So now I'm going to take these two points and I'm going to graph them on a grid. This is the graph that's on the website. Notice that I've taken the x-intercept, which we found to be 4. 4, 0 is the point. So I'm going to go to the graph and graph the point on 4, 0, which is right on the x-axis. Then I'm going to graph the y-intercept, which was two, uh, 0, 2, on the y-axis. Now that you have two points, you can draw a line through those two points. This line then becomes the graph that represents the original equation, which was 2x plus 4y equals 8. So you end up with the graph that represents that equation just by finding the x and y intercepts. Okay, that concludes our example on graphing using x and y intercepts.